a very confident Robert Easter explains that he can mix it up with Mikey Garcia. Stay tuned. It comes time where you can fight on the inside. Like, if Mikey shows me any weakness where I can stand inside and, and, and it's working for me, then th there you have it. You know, I'm, I'm going to fight and I'm be able to, I can fight in the inside and the outside. So you're going to see the best of both worlds, as you see in every one of my fights. Racing your hand, Saturday, July 28th. Two belts. Two with two belts. What is next for you, Robert? It only gets better. You know, uh, it only gets better. After winning, a, after winning that second world title, you know, we're going to sit down, me and my, uh, my management, Al Heyman, and uh, my team. We're going to talk over. We're gonna talk, that's when we're going to talk over the future. Once again, thank you for inviting us to your house here in Palm Beach, Florida. Do not miss it. Saturday, July 28th, Staples Center. Robert Easter Jr., IBF World Champion and WBC Champion of the World. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work it. Now, a great fight. Shout out to Al Heyman. Thank you, Al Heyman. Showtime Boxing is going down July 28th, Saturday. Showtime Boxing, Staples Center, Los Angeles. Get there. As Mikey Garcia, he's a WBC lightweight champion versus the IBF lightweight champion, Robert Easter Jr. in the unification. Now, Robert Easter Jr., you guys heard him at the beginning, sounds extremely confident. And it sounds like he's kind of addressing some of the concerns that myself and other people have had. Like, Robert Easter, you're extremely tall for the division, but you don't always fight tall, right? But he just said right there, he's confident. Well, he didn't say he's confident. You can hear it that he's confident. He said he could fight and mix it up. He says, if Mikey Garcia shows me any vulnerabilities on the inside, then we're going to exploit him. But I could fight on the inside or outside. So he's basically saying he's a complete fighter. It's not a one trick pony. So the past fights that people keep bringing up, it basically sounds like me interpreting that. He's saying those were based on the troubles and what was presented on those fights but he says he can do both inside outside work is whatever he's trying to do but he he will be be the the champion two belt champion and after that he'll get with al Heyman and his team and his people and see what's the next step so listen i'm gonna give my thoughts i love the confidence and this is making it a great fight because i know mikey garcia is confident i mean why wouldn't you be you, your brother is a fighter two-time world champion if i'm not mistaken um you have a good coaching team You've sparred Pacquiao in the past and Edwin Valero, the late great power puncher. You know, you beat Broner, his big bro, Robert Easter's big bro, among other names, right? Moved through four divisions and uh, achieved and, and acquired and captured titles. So I know Mikey's confident. So I'd like to hear from Robert Easter Jr. Other thing that I like is like I was seeing pictures of Robert Easter Jr. And he's going through the rough patch, like pause, but he's going through like where the beard is just like mangy, like you're not tripping. You're not tripping about. So to me, when a dude does that, like it's kind of an indication that like, oh, you in camp, camp, you in camp. Like you're not worried. You know what I mean? You might not be doing the set. You know, a lot of fighters don't do sex before fights and stuff. You're not tripping about your, your appearance. You're just on your caveman shit. And I like to see that because I think a change was probably needed for Robert Easter. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I'm not in his business like that, but um, I know he's from Toledo and maybe training so close to home. It gives you so many outs and so many potential distractions. Like what if you go to the gym and, and your homie texts you and say, hey, we're going to get something to eat. You know what I mean? Distraction. You have all these friends and families trying to visit you in the gym and you trying to work. So you stopping and talk when you should be jump roping or something but being all the way out in florida with uh kevin cunningham i think should be a good look i liked how gervonta tank davis looked in his fight with jesus cuellar i was at that fight covered it as media 
I like how Broner looked versus Vargas. He looked extremely... See, people people don't put stuff into perspective. They say whatever they want about Broner. But the thing, I, I've been to Broner fights. Several. Broner Granados, Broner Garcia, etc. And Broner threw more punches than he did in the Garcia fight. In his fight with Vargas. And that was with Kevin Cunningham. So, I know Kevin Cunningham's a no-nonsense type of trainer. And we'll see. We'll see if it all pays off. Robert Easter, I think he should. It would be ideal if he does use his height. Use a jab, because Mikey has a good jab. I've seen it in the Dejan's La Tichinen fight, another fight I covered, right? And it was a brutal knockout. So it should be a good fight. I, I think both guys have power. Anybody sleeping on this particular fight or making it like it's one-way traffic, I don't see that. I, I, want, I, would, I would definitely challenge everybody to leave a, a detailed fight prediction and tell me why you think it's going to be one-sided if you do think that because i think it'll be good action but make sure you guys check out the box of ego first look it's my tail of the tape and it really breaks down the metrics the weight class the height and i uploaded that already it's on the channel getting views as we speak check that out let me know who wins but i like what i'm seeing from robert easter and i will be at the fight i'll be in la so it's going down get there if you can stable center if not watch on showtime boxing Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.